don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. Getting your peafowl ready for winter. You can see the beautiful fall colors behind us near the peacock farm. I've got my winter coat on, I got my gloves. We have to make sure that our waterers are ready to survive below 32 degrees Fahrenheit when the water freezes here in Iowa. If you have peafowl in places where it gets to 32 degrees Fahrenheit and to below zero Fahrenheit, you need to do a few things to make sure your birds can survive the winter. So let me show you how peacocks, pea hens, and pea chicks survive the winter in cold climates. The winds are out of the northwest now, and it's getting cold, so I'm gonna put my hood up to keep warm, but this water hydrant is the most important part of our peacock farm. We have to keep the water flowing. We've used Barney, Pup Man, and that helped somewhat last year, and we used straw, and that also helped somewhat. If your hydrant has a bad washer up above here, and way down below, your hydrant's not going to drain properly and it will freeze and you'll have to haul water from a different source. In our case, about 100 yards from the house. And when you have to haul about five of these buckets in the below zero temperatures Fahrenheit, it gets very difficult. So make sure your hydrant's working properly. Call your pump man to come out or if you're capable of fixing it, check it out and make sure it's good. We're going to put some insulation around the pump and it's not necessary necessary if it's draining properly, but we also like to do it just for our own sense of peace to see that maybe when the winds come out of the northwest, it's not going to freeze it worse than it should be. Although my pump guy said if your pump is functioning properly, the use of heating tape and a 3 4 inch pipe insulation is not necessary. But for my peace of mind, I'm still going to put the heating tape on covered by this insulation. The manufacturer suggested that you wrap the tape straight down on each side of the pipe, but we've curled it around the pipe many times and it's worked just fine. So you could do it either way, but we're gonna do it this way because it worked well for us in the past. I already attached one of the 3 4 inch pipe insulations to the water pump pipe, and now I'm gonna attach the rest of it, and then it'll be all ready for winter. After a little bit of time, I finally got it all done. I found some of this other foam that's similar to the insulation I put on the pipe, and I wrapped it around the pipe. If you have cats like we do, we put a garden fence around it so they don't use it to sharpen their claws. This way it'll last forever. In addition to having a good water supply, you also need to have some bedding. And we like to use the pine shavings as you've seen we've done in other videos in the past. I'll place a couple links down below so you can check those out. Also, we have used wheat straw if it was available and oat straw. Now you can buy that straw in a convenient wrap package that you could put in the trunk of your car or your SUV or your pickup if you don't have access to a farmer. And we buy that at our farm store. So now in closing, these are a few things you could do to keep your peafowl well during the winter months. If you live in cold climates like we do in Iowa and North America, USA. Thanks for viewing. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.